guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to analyze the questions about structure analysis the question will be analyzed due to portal method so let's analyze the question first i'm going to specify the inflection points of the frame so the inflection point for the beam and the columns will be at the midpoint at the midpoint of beams and columns okay the assumption is like that so this point will be h this one this point will be j i k and g i cut from here i got a cross section and this is going to be f but before that this is 15 kN. this is f this is h this is e j d k i and of course g okay now i have my point so let's find the shear the shears will be shared by the one to two ratio the one is for external the two is for the internal uh, columns so for external column that will be v for internal column that will be uh, 2v for other external column will be v okay so the summation of this uh, 4v will be equal to 15 so 15 over 4 i'm going to obtain 1v so now i'm going to uh, solve this point so i solve, solve this part okay i'm going to take this part to here and this is f this is 15 i have a 3.75 here right i have a gy and i have a hx i have and also hy right so now let's uh, solve this part so when i solve this part i'm going to take the total fx equal to zero 15 minus 3.75 minus hx will be equal to zero so hx will be equal to 11.25 kilonewtons. now i have hx so let's find uh, uh, also gy and hy so total moment at h equal to zero this direction is positive so let's write the equation minus 3.75 because 3.75 force will uh, uh, rotate it do uh, clockwise direction multiplied with uh, three okay plus gy multiplied with four equal to zero gy will be equal to 2.8125 kilonewtons and you can see there is no any uh, vertical force so the hy also will be equal to 2.8125 kilonewton but if it is at this direction this is going to be at the reverse direction okay so now let's solve the second part for the second part let's write the points I have a 7.5 here because it is 2v okay so I have uh, if it is hx if it's at this direction for this part it's going to be at this direction okay this part is here uh, it comes from here so it's going to be at this part hx so it's going to be at this sorry at this direction 11.25 fh1 if h1 is at this direction for this part it's going to be reversed for this part so it's going to be 2.8125 and now i have a jy and i have a jx okay so let's find them also the first i'm going to take the uh, moment respect to j this direction is positive so 2.8125 multiplied with 8 because this is 4 meter this is 4 meter this is 3 meter minus 7.5 multiplied with 3 
and uh, plus this is a y sorry i y at this direction so i y also will uh, will rotate it at this direction multiplied with uh, four I just assume the direction of that equal to zero now this multiplication and this one equal to each other so it's going to cancel each other it's going to be zero so i y will be zero okay now i find out i y so uh, let's write the total fx equal to zero 11.25 multiplied uh, sorry minus 7.5 minus jx equal to zero and jx will be equal to 3.75 and now I have obtained the jx also. Let's uh, find the jy. There is no any other vertical force, so I'm going to write directly like that. Uh, minus 2.8125, okay, plus jy, because it's going to be reverse direction, equal to 0, jy equal to 2.8125. Now I obtained also jy. So uh, let's uh, solve the last part. This got wrong here. It's going to be here. And for this part, it's going to be if I have a jx at this direction, I'm going to obtain a jx. So I'm going to write the jx for this part, the, the reverse direction. Okay. And it's going to be this direction. What was jx? jx was 3.75 right and also i have a 3.75 it comes from the when i uh, share the shears and this is going to be this direction because it's going to be reversed at this direction it's uh, upward and it's going to be the downward direction 2.8125 there is no any other vertical force so this is also will be at this direction 2.8125 okay now I obtain the forces here. This will also be J and this is point K. Okay. And now let's uh, find the moments and draw the diagrams. It's going to be something like this. We assume that a small part comes to here. Okay, small part. I'm just going to take a cross section. This is 3.75. I obtained first. And this is also 7.5 right and this is also 3.75 okay and uh, for now the moment will be exerted by these forces okay the moment will be exerted by these forces at this uh, beams it's going to be 3.5 multiplied by with 3 because the, di the length that affects by this force was 3 okay look at I'm going to show you this is 3, 3 meter, this is 3 meter, this is 3 meter, okay? The half of this uh, column, okay? These forces will act at this direction. So let's calculate it. 3.75 multiplied with 3 is going to be 11.25, okay? And at this direction, 7.5 multiplied with 3, it's going to be uh, 22.5 kilonewton meter. This is also kilonewton meter. And for this point, it's going to be 3.75 3 multiplied with 3, it's going to be at this direction as 11.25 kilonewton meter. Now I have my moments. So if I have moments, let's uh, draw the diagram also. For diagram, it's going to be uh, something like that. I have 11.25 as moment here. Okay. And I'm going to have to reach because this is the inflection point. So I'm going to reach 
the same value but it's going to be at this bottom of the line 11.25 because it is symmetric at this part i have 22.5 kilo newton moment as a um, kilo meter as a moment so i'm going to this is going to be for example negative it's going to be positive or this is positive this is negative it doesn't, it doesn't matter it depends on which side is positive for you okay for for example this one is for for me this one is going to be uh negative okay for example this is negative i'm going to add this moment to that value and i'm going to obtain 11.25 okay i'm going to raise up at uh, uh, the 22.5 as a month i'm going to raise up and then i'm going to again again go down at the same amount because it has to be as a, a symmetric And this also will be a minus 11.25. And this is uh, inflection point. Sorry, it's going to be that direction. Now the question is solved. Thank you for watching. If something that you cannot understand, something that I did wrong, please warn me. I'm going to uh, make it better. I'm going to fix them all for the next question. See you for the next question.